How about that day? We climbed a mountain together. Five years ago, we breathed in the salty Multnomah air. We trapped the vapor from the falls in our lungs and let it escape. Over and again, we tramped the manicured paths of God-cut rock at a sprinter's pace, wondering what we might see beyond the next mint-topped limb. Just full-grown men, just boys running in the woods. We parted the curtains of fog with our fingertips, wide enough so we could get our heads through the white ghosty vapor, to glimpse the sea crashing against the rocks below. The waves seemed to will the impact of their own volition. They got close. They made themselves known, hid their desires from no one. Gentle man, angry with the way things are. We showed you something and you looked. You listened. Under fresh Portland sky, we pruned your fruit that day. The holy glow of seeing your brother wed shone against the shadows. We trimmed a layer of doubt off your heart that day. We ranted over controversial books, drank freshly roasted grounds, black, French pressed and heavy diner mugs. We ate donuts with voodoo frosting suits and cherry jam blood too, smiling, drifting into sugar coma stupors. You melted a little that day. We puffed parliaments, held stiff between our indexes and middle claws, chewed through cask strength bourbon drams, bit back with oaky fangs. We forged our bond of renewing hope over gray smoke and brown liquor. You saw, if only for a moment, how a good God was possible. You never knew I knew how your eyes turned glassy and twinkled through the clouds. For a moment, you could see the stars against the black autumn sky, and you knew what they were there for. <clears throat> the waxen glob softened in your sound canals, and you heard the first bar of our redemption song that day. But you're gone now. You listen to whispery hisses, breathe through slippery, forth, uh, slippery forked tongues. You had no ear for the precious rumble of your father's voice, wailing groans of tenderness above your head in the end. Notes of gloom and glory both. How little you could do to keep him away from you. He held you in his arms as you faded when you hung the rope that day. The liar named you a thief and you stole from those who loved you on that day. <clears throat>